So here's a little briefing on what we're doing. We parked right down here, right off of 106. And we're gonna be hiking the, uh, the Ramapo Dunderberg Trail up this way, this way, over to the uh, Bald Stone Shelter. A couple of little loops we could take to get to that shelter. We don't have to go directly there. Not really sure what we're gonna do yet, but we're gonna have some fun. Got the whole crew with me today. Got Kellen, my youngest, four years old. My two daughters over there, Paige and Emily. You gonna say hi, Emily? Hi. So they're excited for today. Kellen, are you excited? Mm -hmm. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna hike? Mm -hmm. All right, so let's get back on the trail. We've never been on this trail before, I can promise you. Yeah, it doesn't matter, you can go either way. Just see the trail markers, you just have to follow the trail markers. Right there. The rocks around here, right? Do you see the trail marker page? Which way does it say to go? All right, guys, you can do it. Hey, look at this rock. That's a big one. Wait, where do we go? That way or this way? Which way do you think, Paige? Yeah, so turn left, this way. All right, you're doing it. Mm. That's flat dirt. That's flat dirt. Hey, Emily. All right, let me come give Kellen a hand. Let's see, we got a bench in the middle of the woods. All right, come here, Kellen, I'll help you get down. Come here. Can what? Lift up this I cannot personally lift up this size rock now. <clears throat> Do we have another view up here, girls? I don't want to see. Well, he takes the view out. I want to keep going. Stay right here. Whoa. Another nice view. Back into the the shade a little bit, right girls? Yeah. And boys. What are you doing, Kellen?
The red, red trail, straight ahead. You doing good, Em? Okay. All right, well, we made it to the uh, Baldstone shelter. We got camp set up. The kids are sleeping in the tent. I'll be in my hammock, of course. There's the shelter down there. Get you a better view of that later, but uh, there it is for now. There's my son, Kellen. And Emily's running around here somewhere too, but enough of that. We have to go get some water before it gets dark so we can get dinner going. How's it doing? What are you eating? Nice. And, uh, we got, and we got the campfire going. The yeah. All right, so we're getting ready to get out of camp, right, guys? Yeah, we need to show you something. What do you need to show me? Place we found. Okay, let's go take a look at it. Yeah, see the bottom. So this is the Bald Rocks Shelter. There's a uh, quite a few different campsites all around here. Um. Plenty of places to hang a hammock, plenty of places to set up a tent. Um, some really nice views. It'd be really good for uh, checking out stars or like a meteor shower. There's a lot of open areas here where there's no trees. Um, but anyway, this is the shelter. Someone left a back pair, sleeping back here, and trash bag it looks like. Not a bad looking shelter. It's not huge though. I mean, there's this area over here, and there's a sleeping platform over here that could hold, uh, you know, one, two, three, four, I don't know. And there's a fireplace inside, which is kind of cool. That'd be nice in the winter. There is a chimney, you're right. What are you doing, Helen? And a fire ring outside. So, not a bad shelter. It's be a fun place to come in the winter, I guess. Get a nice fire going in here. Probably warm it up pretty nicely. You can see why it's called Bald Rocks. Tons of area like this. And again, there's more campsites over here. There's some down that way. Even little spots around here. A yep, little visitor. There you go. And just in case anyone was wondering, uh, elevation for uh, the Bald Rock shelter it's about 1,370 feet. Just a little area right outside the campsite. And also, another very important thing to, to point out, the, uh, the official map set for this area shows all kinds of streams around Bald Rocks Shelter, I mean, within a quarter mile to a half a mile away. Um, I just want to point out they are not reliable in the summer as we unfortunately found out. Um, we only brought a couple, like two liters of water with us for the four of us and we found out that all of the streams are dry. Um, even the little pond that's closest to Bald Rock Shelter is surrounded by about 75 feet of swamp all the way around it so you cannot get to the pond. Um, so uh, keep that in mind. If you come up here and it hasn't rained in a while and it's summertime, bring all the water you're planning on drinking because you will not get any up here. What'd you say? Nice. Did you see a camouflage? It was a grasshopper, but he had super good camouflage, right? Yeah. Like the color of these rocks. Yeah, you couldn't even really see it was him until he flew away. Someone dropped, it looks like some kind of candy bar wrapper. Do you think we should pack it out? Granola bar wrapper? Well, here, I'll put it in one of your pockets here and we'll take this away because we don't want to do that. I mean, maybe they dropped it by accident, but. Yeah. Like maybe they put it in their pocket and fell out. We don't want to leave it here, do we? No. 